welcome to Day in the Life of Yab Jabber on Live Facebook. Welcome to my channel. To the second video I'm going to do for my viewers. So, as you can see, I'm sitting in my room doing a video log for my viewers uh, because I bike crashed a few days ago, well, two, three days ago, whatever it is. I'm going to do track, track of time and dates and just sore. Sleeping more and doing a lot less when I, than I want to do. I want to be on bike. I want to be out there and getting the fresh air and getting video logs out there in the woods or parks or whatever other than my room but I'm gonna be here probably gonna be here the next nine to ten more days doing video logs for my viewers what can I really say about that you know crash my bike and I'm in pain you know my legs are sore and I can't just jump on the bike next day and say oh, I'm all good but uh, the start of one video uh, yesterday it will show a picture of my leg and I actually even showed the picture in the video of my leg and I know it wasn't completely cleaned up but I mean I'm doing the best I could to clean it up it's sore to even touch uh, it's half as bad now I mean I'm doing what I can but I don't want to open up the wound and you know I don't want to have to go to the hospital and wait there for the friggin like 10 to 20 hours just for uh, you know stitching when I can just let it heal by myself and keep it clean. Now I've done this all this stuff myself. I've done a lot of this first aid stuff even before I did the first aid training because my grandmother was um, in World War II and she was um, she was a nurse, so she firsthand had to do a lot of different wounds. I'm gonna see if my camera's actually recording just for the hell of it. I wonder, can I go there? Yeah, I can go right there. All right, it's faster. Oh man! Yeah, I'm recording, guys. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was uh, uh, firsthand doing um, doing first aid on different uh, um, people over the war. I guess I'm gonna say I my brain's not working well these days. I smacked it pretty hard in the ground. And she said she was a lot of, there's a lot of, when she, when it was that, there's not really that much, much technology then and medicine and uh, ideas to fix things. Like a, a big, you know, gash like this or even bigger, they would amputate the legs like, wow, that's bad. But that, there's you no know, other ideas to save the leg and then uh, spend a little bit of time and then, you know, getting that leg up and going and actually getting this person walking within days and then getting them back out on the field to fight that war. She told me like a lot of different ideas to like uh, clothing, um, gauze to pads back then. They had weird pads back then they were thin but not as thick as today. Um, to even uh, your dead buddies, uh, uh, um, a graft from their, their skin, like a, ch a chunk of from their skin sewn to yours to sew to help um, seal up your your wounds and your wound is really big and I, this is weird I never heard of that but I guess that's what you had to do that back then if uh, you got a big gaping gaping wound in, in your body and you got a dead friend and he can be missing that little bit of skin to help you know seal up uh, a wound in your skin and I guess she was a real good uh, you know uh, sewer because she did some seamstress and she so the pant legs when they're too long for women when I was going to high school and stuff and uh, being dressed up for a dance and certain things she would um, she would sew up certain things to you know for my shirts and uh, my jeans and you know making things more presentable for you know for me dancing or graduation or uh, going for you know some kind of party or something like that and she was really good at that. I mean, she learned a lot of that um, at a young age, and then I helped out in the field when you are out there and you're saving people's lives, and you got to you know soak their wounds and stuff. And then I think it was between thread and wire, and I don't know what did they have. Uh, they probably had fish line, but probably not a vast amount of fish line. But I could probably see that you know being happen. So, I don't know, I miss my grandma, I miss all the little, the little, um, little stories here and there. Um, do I believe she'd been taken before time? No, I, 
She died uh, more lonely, though. She died more lonely. I know, do know that. Other people didn't really visit her. And I moved away and was uh, busy in my life and being being stupid and young anyway in my life. I should have stayed on the reserve. You know, visit my grandma more. and She remembered who I am, but she didn't always remember the date or other faces and stuff like that. And uh, they're saying that she has Alzheimer's or something like that. I didn't really believe that. I, I really didn't believe it. But, um, let's see, I forgot to actually I'll repeat that, but that's okay. I'll have to get up and, and do that anyway. She, she did die a little bit before her time. She died, I think, at, um, I think 90, 90 or 92 or something like that. I know she's like five years older than my grandpa. I think she was. Yeah, since he was five years old, my grandpa now died before his time. He still had a good near five to ten years, the way he was going. Um, she died a little bit before her time. I'd say, you know, three to five years. Maybe she would live to be a hundred, but um, say she lived till eighty-five. No, she'd be a hundred and ten right now. I mean, she probably wouldn't be living that long, but who knows? I mean, today's medicine, and uh, you know, if you keep yourself healthy and stuff like that, I mean, you can lived you know up to 100 it all depends on your lifestyle and your eating habits and the, what you're eating and you know all this stuff I don't really want to say it but I know I know I miss my my grandma and you know um, there's other people in my life you, you know, that felt like you know like a sub substitute grandma or you know secondary grandma I mean there's one little lady she's uh, in, in the old town that old town I used to live in I uh, she's the cat lady and she used to be like a grandma to me and she was too kind and too nice. I mean, there's there's times, you know, I could, you know, uh, slowly pay up uh, vet bills or um, to get these, uh, you know, good products for the cats while they're young and stuff. And she helped me out, the, you know, to, for the vet bills and uh, um, some backup wet food and dry food and cat collar, whatnot, stuff like that. She's not in that town anymore. I don't know exactly where she's at. I think she's living with her daughter. She's gotten a little older now. It's been, it's been like six or seven years since I last seen her, and uh, she's got to be, uh, hell, she's got to be at least eighty something. I believe she's still alive. She's a really, she was a really nice lady, and ho hopefully I do meet her again someday. I gotta you now figure out where I could. I could call those numbers. I mean. I did a reverse, not reverse tractor. I did, you know, put her name in there, and then there's, um, there's nothing by her name per se, but I'm not exactly sure her, her daughter's name, but I could call them and then, you know, get a chance to talk to her and find out what number's what. But that's like 15, 20 of, you know, people with that name, last name. Um, so I don't know if I really want to go through with that, but. I know, I, I do miss her too. I want to know how she is and how she's doing stuff. <sighs> um, my room's uh, floor is a little bit mess. Everything that's on my desk gets thrown off the desk onto the floor. I can't bend down because my legs are sore and my back is sore. And the cat, like, looks at me weird, like, looking at me and then looking at the thing. And then she goes and just swat it and says, hey, 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 don't do that. She would look at me again, she would swallow a bit, and say, come on, don't do that. And then let it hit the ground, and she would like, she would, she would just walk away, or she would look for something else and knock off the desk. She knows that, she knows that I have a hard time trying to, you know, bend down and pick that up. And one day I wanted to just pick her up and give her a shake, like, come on, like, like, gently, like, would you stop that? <laughs> just, just lovingly, I wouldn't hurt my cat. I mean, it's like, come on, would you stop that? Like, mmm. I'm sore and I can't do that, you know? <sighs> so yeah, my, my grandma, she wasn't always, you know, she, she has a lot, a lot of stories, you know, to talk about. But she was a good lady. She was, she was a good lady. She had a lot of good uh, stories and a lot of stuff are 100% truthful. Um, in, a, in the World War II, there was, uh, like, the camps got uh, 
attacked by mustard gas, and she lost she lost her, her, her sight of no, her sight. She lost her sense of smell. She couldn't smell it. If she's burning something in the kitchen, she wouldn't smell it. She couldn't even different do different between like what is the one spice compared to the other spice because there could be similarities to each spice, but she would um she would make some really good dishes though. She made good turkey dinner. Oh, she made a delicious possum pie. I know it sounds gross, but possum pie. Kinda like it tastes like turkey. She spiced it just right and it was delicious. She, I, besides that, elderberry pie. She made delicious elderberry pie. She made good, you know, good chicken. Go, well, we had we had chicken on the thing too, and they're there for so so long, and then you know, end up maybe eating the chicken. But they want to really eat the chickens that lay the eggs, and you know, they've uh, they're, it's like their pets, and they don't want to eat their pets. Um, so even to, even to talk about that too. Um, I didn't you know live on their farm for a couple of years. I've been you know my my uh, young my baby years. I've been on the farm a lot. Uh, my kid years a little bit you know back and forth to city and uh, you know their farm, and then uh, just starting off in uh, another high school and moving back to the reserve and went to my dad's house to get built and kind of crowded one place so it led to my uh, grandfather's you know getting welfare and you know trying to look for odd jobs and stuff like that and living with them. But anyway. They had a farm, they had chickens, they had turkeys, they had ducks, they had gee or geese, geese, goose, whatever. Uh, they had swans, they had guineas, they had peacocks, they had some kind of weird laughing birds. There was even one with speckles on them and looked like they weren't makeup. Um, they had dogs, they had a couple cats, they had rabbits, they had pigs, they had goats. Um, not too sure if there was anything else. I know. I mean, there was even a pet crow that came that lived there for a bit and would come and go. And then somebody shot it one day, and then that's really pissed him off. But it, I don't know. I helped out, you know, feeding here and there, and it was it was not a bad life at all. It was kind of kind of boring per se because I really had many friends, and then people make fun because I lived on the farm and. I can't even say my nickname because now it, I, I've heard it become a cartoon in, in a uh, comic book, so I can't even say that. And uh, and before it, uh, before the other name became a cartoon or whatever, I did a little story in high school on that, uh, short stories and stuff. And I'm the one that created that, but I mean I should have pat patented it, but I can't do that now. It's been such a long time, I can't patent that now. But living on the uh, on my grandfather's farm was good, but one day, you know, I up, you know, leaving and moving to my dad's house and living there, you know, going to school and stuff like that. I mean, there's even times I would help with my grandfather, but I was neglecting that I was should come and buy and help him out because every now and then he needed help, and he could not always have help with from his sons because they're doing their own thing and they're you know bad and stuff. But anyway, I might as well wrap it up and continue on the next video. If you guys like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. Make sure this video on the channel might benefit you. Might Please do tell your friends and family about it. Thank you for being this video. We'll tell them today if you watch it. Hope we have a nice day. Remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.